Howdy there, this is a Minecraft tutorial on how to control water and lava using redstone. Now this is, I've put it into a practical application and this is a little, it might, it just looks like a pile of cobblestone and glass really, but it's actually a trap and basically I run through here, open up this section, they, the monster, will get trapped in this area then I press this button and lava pours down on top of them. So now I'm just going to go find a monster and show you. Okay, so here we have a zombie, so this is going to be a perfect opportunity. Now I just have to get him to come all the way back there. Okay, here we go. Just get him in. So now watch. He will walk onto the pressure plate, get inside, and now he's stuck because he cannot get out. And he can't hit me through this door because of the way I've positioned it. So now all I have to do is say goodbye. Goodbye, zombie. Yeah, he's dead now. And resetting for this trap is actually quite easy. I just come up here, up the ladder. Oops, like that. Actually, apparently it worked. But basically, destroy that block, destroy that block, and we're good to go for another round. So, now that you've seen a practical application for it, and that's not the way we're supposed to go through. So the whole point of this door is to go out this door. But now you've seen a practical application for it, I'm just going to show you how to build the basic bit where the lava, or in this case, it will be using water. Um, how to use that. Okay, so this build is actually quite simple to do. Basically, we're just going to raise it up a few blocks. And we're going to start with... We'll start with like this. Actually... Yeah. For this, I'm just going to be using dirt, because it's just easy. It's easy to use. So basically, this is the shaft where it's going to go down. And then this is where the lava goes. The lava goes next to the shaft if you get what I mean. And then we have two and then a hole. And so this is going to be the, oops, this is going to be our, our hole. Like that. And then we need some walls. Oops, let's just make a little ladder here. So basically, you just want to copy what I've done so far. The l whatever will go here. Alright? Except this is the shaft that's going to fall down. The trick is, you fill in two, the first two, including the top one. So one, two. Put the water down, so then the water will go here. Then you destroy this one. Wait a little bit. Destroy this one. And now you've got this effect where it's actually falling down the one, because normally it will go this one because it's a closer hole, but it's actually falling down the further one because of the way we've taken away the blocks. Now for the redstone part, this is, see how it's right next to it, just a block in between? The redstone, oops, sorry. If I put the redstone down, it it will not. I thought it was going to do something, but it's not going to. And then we just put the button. We put our button there and redstone there. Yeah, see now now it's actually updated. So now it's all set. Got the redstone down. Do that. And then And it updates this block. Once you hit that, it'll update this block, forcing the water down. You could alternatively use lava. And then you can employ it into a trap or into some sort of system or mechanism of your own. So it's a pretty simple build. Hopefully you guys have learned something. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.